Hello, I'm Shadow Coast, and in this video, we're going to outline how to defeat the Dead Bride in the Intercept Battle in the First Ascendant. This may take you several attempts, especially if you decide to team up and beat her with other people. And I'm going to outline exactly what you have to do and how you can best be prepared to give yourself a shot. To start, let's take a look at the Dead Bride's strengths and weaknesses, which will inform how we'll want to prepare from a module setup and descendant selection process. Dead Bride has weak point type of burst. Not all weapons have burst applied to it. Looking, we see that Thunder Cage, a submachine gun, does have burst 10%, while a sniper rifle has crush instead of burst. Tactical rifles do have burst too, so recommend you use a weapon that has burst as part of it. You can view these details on a weapon by clicking tab when you have the weapon open in mouse and keyboard. Look at the bottom left to see what button to open up on console to see these details. Next, we can see Dead Bride's attack attribute is chilled. Not surprisingly, at the bottom here, we see that it recommends you stack chill resistance at a 1600 level. This will impact selections of modules for your descendant. For example, you'll want to stack modules that provide chill resist if you have it. If you have unique modules that focus on defeating Colossi, use them too, such as Absolute Curse Ultimate, which you can see I have here. I didn't happen to have specific chill resist, so I went with Polygenic Antibody to get a little resistance to chill. If you don't have any good mods, then I'd work on farming more out and or upgrading mods if you're over Mastery Level 9 at Cillian. You can upgrade and receive better mods by combining the ones that you have multiple of, for reference. Now looking at Dead Bride, she's weak against fire damage, normal against electrical, virtually immune to chill damage, and strong resistance against toxin. I would not recommend taking her on with descendants that focus on toxic or acid and chill damage, and should focus on fire and electrical damage. In my case, I chose Bunny, which is one of my all-time favorite descendants in general. For weapon modules, unsurprisingly, you'll want to stack and apply modules that enable fire damage, such as the Fire Enhancement module. This will be critical, since if you only do chill or toxic damage, you won't output enough damage to defeat the Dead Bride and will fail the mission given that there is a timer you are competing against to down her. Now coming to destructible parts and weak points. To beat Dead Bride and most Colossi, you'll need to focus on these points. She has a sensor in the back of her head, which is a bit difficult to target but something you can burn down relatively easily. She has a central cover on her chest which is fairly easy to hit but takes a lot of damage to take out. You're going to need to focus fire if you're in a group. Her balancer below knees are harder to hit and take medium amount of damage compared to uh, that central cover. I'd focus on the knees fairly quickly which will down and stun her temporarily so you can then focus on other areas while she's not moving. Next we have weak points on each shoulder. These seem to take a fair amount of damage and if you're with a group you'll want to combine focus fire on these points to burn them down and turn them yellow so one of you can jump on and take it off. Also once you knock off her core cover you have the core which also takes a fair amount of damage to destroy. Finally, as the battle progresses, you'll see amplifiers on her weapons. These are hard to hit with her movement, but if you can focus fire and burn them down quickly, it shouldn't take too much damage compared to, say, those central covers. Now, if you found this helpful, please drop a thumbs up and add a comment on items I might have missed. We're going to outline an accelerated battle here, and I'll call out key points uh, via visual that you should focus on as far as the battle is concerned. Thanks for watching. 